Guys, don't forget to buy David White's book. It's £20 for a personalised signed copy and free delivery. All the details are down below. Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Um, just a, in addition to Ray's video, uh, we're just going to do another quick roundup on uh, the latest transfer news. And the first one in particular uh, is concerning Adrian Rabio. Now, as we know, he's in his final year of his contract at PSG, and it seems that he's refusing to sign uh, an extended contract. Now, whether this is whether this is his agent, you know, pushing for a better contract or not, we don't know. But Manchester City have certainly been rumoured um, and shown an interest. And even um, if you look at uh, Don Ballon, uh, they reported that uh, Manchester City will be meeting with his representatives today uh, over a potential, I don't know, 45 million euro signing on fee even uh, for next season. It's not going to happen now. It can't happen because of the, the transfer window is closed, but uh, we're literally days away from the European transfer window closing as well. Now, he's 23 years of age, just turned 23 in uh, April of this year. Uh, exciting central midfielder, six foot. If you look at his stats, he's six foot two. Uh, he's played uh, 137 games for PSG, scoring 12 goals. Now he is exciting. He can play in a central role, a central defensive role. He's got youth on his side, so you know I'm sure Pep's been looking at him very closely. Now he does come potentially with a bit of an attitude. Now it's hard to read into it, but. If you remember rightly, prior to the World Cup, he actually sent Didier Deschamps an email when he was put on the 11-man waiting list for the France World Cup squad and basically said, the training programme doesn't suit me, not interested. So he's got a little bit of something about him, certainly for one so young, to be confident enough to basically tell the French manager, who obviously went on to win the World Cup, that uh, he wasn't going to hang around and uh, stick to a programme a training program um, that didn't suit him, uh, so he got a bit of stick of that stick for that in the in the French press. Now, clearly, uh, he's a great player. Whether there's actually anything in it now, if you look at Barcelona, Barcelona have shown an incredible interest in this uh, kid. They've turned around basically and already offered in the region of around about fifty million euro for him. Uh, now, Eric Abidal, who's the sporting director of Barcelona said we want him now but uh, we can wait until next summer so they're in a similar position to us and uh, he really does believe that uh, Rabio is going to sign for Barcelona next season so I guess we'll wait and see on this particular uh, bit of uh, gossip let's call it okay so second bit of uh, transfer news or gossip let's call it then is Don Ballon again uh, and for some reason I don't know where they've got this figure from but they, they reckon that uh, Pep Guardiola is going to have a £407 million war chest for next summer. And one of those top targets is going to be Rafael Varane from Real Madrid. Now, I can see the sense in that, uh, but the, their claims are that they're going to double the world record transfer fee for a defender. So you're looking well over £100 million plus uh, for that. Now, Varane had an incredible World Cup. I mean, he's such a classy player. And with the likes of Vincent Kompany sort of in his, maybe in his final season, let's say, uh, getting the likes of Mangala off the books, and even Otamendi potentially um, coming towards his final few years, then with Laporte and Stones, they're going to need potentially another centre-back. So it makes sense if we're going to spend money and Pep does have a war chest, then... Uh, why not just go for the best that's out there? And Varane is certainly in the top three defenders in world football. I mean, he's, he's built up a wonderful partnership uh, with Sergio Ramos at uh, Real Madrid. Now, whether Real Madrid would sell is another option. So that's, that's the, the next bit of uh, gossip or transfer news. And finally, I um, wasn't going to mention this because... Uh, I don't know, I, I think uh, this particular person and his agent has spoiled his legacy in my own personal opinion. But Yaya Torre, it was all over the press yesterday and today, certainly this morning, that his agent, uh, Dimitri Seluk, is saying that uh, Yaya will be having a medical today. Uh, and then he came out with the most ridiculous comments, uh, slagging off West Ham, 
and saying it's not be, not not them because they're at the bottom of the league. Now I saw on a read on Twitter yesterday certain sort of you know people were saying it could be Crystal Palace. Well, I've got another one for you. It could be Olympiakos. Now he has played for Olympiakos before, and Olympiakos are currently in the UK. Now he doesn't have to have the medical in Greece. He doesn't have to have the medical in. Burnley or Manchester so it makes sense um, if my little intuition is correct that uh, potentially he's going back to Olympiakos so maybe he is maybe he isn't I don't know I'm just maybe putting two and two together uh, but uh, yeah don't be surprised if uh, Yaya Torre is back off to Greece anyway guys uh, that's a roundup to, uh, of the news uh, that's out there. Don't forget, check out Ray's video on Raheem Sterling. Again, I had a big debate on Twitter about it yesterday. But uh, for me, I don't like City fans calling him greedy. We don't know the facts of it um, in particular. And uh, at the end of the day, the agent is there to do what's best for Raheem Sterling. Uh, and I'm sure at some point City will uh, come to a compromise don't forget the rumours around Raheem Sterling was just a couple of paragraphs that were on Sky Sports News. No sources were mentioned. So anyway, check out Ray's video uh, that he put out earlier today. But anyway, guys, this is Andy from Man City Fan TV. As we say, we're bringing you all the news as it happens here daily, sometimes two videos per day. Don't forget to click subscribe and notification and uh, we'll see you soon.